This year's bumper crop on the prairies is starting to have a positive impact on the port of Thunder Bay. The drought conditions of 2021 led to fewer grain shipments earlier this year at the local port, but the cargo statistics for October show the numbers are starting to rebound. And the remarkable year for potash shipments continued last month as well. Mike Lang reports. As the westernmost port in Canada with access to the east coast, the port of Thunder Bay is a crucial junction in terms of shipping grain from the prairies down to the St. Lawrence Seaway and all around the world. However, Drought and high heat conditions last year caused prairie grain production to dip below the 7 million ton mark for the first time since 2011. But fall 2022 saw the numbers jump back to up to near record levels. And for the port of Thunder Bay, it meant over 840,000 tons of grain were shipped here in October, a 33% increase from September and an 8% increase from October of last year. Port Director Chris Hakenen says it's one of the best harvest seasons he has ever seen. It's certainly been a, a promising fall for grain. Uh, on the prairies, uh, they're harvesting and uh, the harvest looks to be somewhere in the top uh, three or four uh, grain harvests on record. Uh, we are the number one uh, grain export port for Manitoba grain. Uh, and uh, like I said, it ships to Europe, North Africa, uh, South America, all, all the way from here in Thunder Bay. It has also been a remarkable year for potash shipments, as over 1 million tons have now been shipped at the port of Thunder Bay, the most in 30 years. Hakenin says it is due to the Russian war in Ukraine, which has strained global production of potash. We saw those, those numbers starting to creep up uh, last fall. There was some uh, disruptions on the West Coast um, that led to a lot of uh, potash shipments moving east through the port of Thunder Bay. Uh, Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, there's a lot of uh, potash typically comes out of those areas. And uh, right now that's, that's not uh, very marketable. So we're seeing a lot more demand for that product and that leads to increased shipments. Taken and expects the strong shipment numbers for grain and potash to continue for the rest of the fall. Same for steel and other infrastructure. He also hopes that those trends can be maintained before ice starts to form on Lake Superior, which happened at the beginning of January last winter season. Mike Lang, TBT News.